Hello everybody, it's Nancy and we are going to be playing with this brand new Blue Knight rubber stamps called Building Beavers. It has two cute sentiments, I am sticking with you and building memories. And then the beavers and the, um, the little dam is all one stamp. So because it's a rubber stamp, we're going to start with the Tim Holtz um, stamping platform. I have a little piece of... Um, stick it in there and then I have cut down a piece of this Strathmore pastel paper pastel paper this is the kind of greenish color down to five and a quarter by four and I'm just gonna put that right on the edge there and we can always cut that down and you guessed it we're gonna be using our pan pastels from Blue Night Rubber Stamps as well I'm going to line that up on the bottom there. You don't necessarily need the magnets, but I'll put them on. And I'm going to use two different color brown inks. We have Icing on the Cake from Catherine Puller. I'm going to try to be um, selective and put that around the beavers. Okay, let's see how that stamps out. Okay, pretty good. All right, and then we're gonna go back in with Versifying Claire Pinecone, which should be a little bit darker brown, and we're going to do the twigs that color. So it's just a little bit darker brown. Totally missed. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to lift the lid off of the stamp platform. I'm just going to move that out of the way. We'll bring it back in later. And now I'm gonna focus on coloring the images. There's not a whole bunch to color here. Um, we're gonna have fun with it here. All right, I'm gonna take the heat tool real quick and set that ink and make sure it's dry. Just want to make sure when we're when we're blending and things and I'm gonna use a variety of little um, tools to color in our images here so I guess I'll start with the little beavers actually no I'm going to start with the sky I am going to bring in the blue night rubber stamps cloud stencil And our day and night palette has the blues in it. And you can pick up everything in the Blue Night Rubber Stamp store, the pan pastels, the stamps, the cloud stencil are all there. And I'm gonna go in with some this lighter blue, which is turquoise tint. And what's nice is you just keep on layering the colors in until 
you have it where you want it. That might be a little too light. I'm going to add some turquoise in there, which is a little bit me more medium blue. There, you can see that better. Much better. There we go. We got our sky forming. So let me go in with the lighter. Okay, so we'll have the whole background is this kind of light blue color. It's very easy to do. Then we'll go in with the regular turquoise and we'll put the clouds in. All right, now we have our blended sky. Now when we color our little beaver, the blue will get covered up by the brown. So now we can go in with our little coloring tools. Let me grab the other palette. This is our sunrise browns. Sorry, someone keeps trying to call me. This is the Burnt Sienna and Red Iron Oxide, which are kind of like our darker browns and reds, but we'll see how they look. I do have another palette with some browns if I need to bring those in. I might start with that, actually. I have Raw Umber, which is a dark brown. I think I'll start with that one. I just want to lay down the basic color. We're going to stamp over this and it'll put the detail back in. And I want to add a little bit lighter color. What do I have for a little bit of a lighter brown? Hmm. That is called Burnt Sienna Shade. Just doing that a little bit around the faces there. Okay, and then we need to do all of the wood. So I'm just gonna go in with all three different colors and randomly put them in spots. So this is that Burnt Sienna Shade. It's kind of a medium brown. fill in a couple spots here. Then I'm going to go in with some of the red iron oxide, which is a dark red, almost like a burnt red. You can see how dark that is in there. Put some of that in and then we'll go back in with the burnt umber and add that in too.
then anywhere you want it to be darker add some more anywhere you want it to be lighter lift some of the color out Okay, I think that looks pretty good for having our base colors down. And then all we need to do now is just add a little bit of detail. It's kind of shading all of these in. And we're gonna bring in our um, chalk pencils for that. So pretty easy, we have our background done, we have our beavers done, we have our logs done. And now we're going to just bring in some pencils. I'm using the Carbothello Stabilo pencils, there's 24 in here. And there, oh, there's a nice couple of shades of brown. So, okay, is this the lighter color I'm gonna do around their faces? Just to lighten that up a little bit. And I've said this before, the artists that make these stamps for Blue Knight Rubber Stamps make it pretty easy that all you have to do is just follow where they have their accents, highlights, shadows, and just color it in. I think that looks pretty good. So now I do want to add a sentiment. I do want to blend these a little bit too. So Not so harsh. Blend it in a little bit. There we go. And I do have a small spot there I need to erase. So what's great about using these is if you make a mistake, you can go right in with an eraser and this eraser is nice and fine. go that looks great 
Adding those little highlights makes a difference. Wow, okay, that looks cool. So now I'm gonna do is, I'm going to um, stamp my sentiment. You wanna just kinda dust off some of that eraser dust. And then we have um, two sentiments. The sentiments are, I am sticking with you and building memories. I like, I am sticking with you. Let's put that over here. Put my stamp platform lid back on. And I'm going to put a little piece of acetate down so I know where I'm stamping to make sure that my sentiment is straight. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we can remove the acetate carefully. Okay, and I'm really not loving it in the brown, so I'm going to clean the brown up. I think I'm going to go with like a dark green. Just to change it up a little bit. Okay, so we have this Versifying Claire Shady Lane. So we'll use that on the sentiment. That looks good. I'm going to do one more. Okay, that's nice and dark. I'm going to remove my sentiment stamp. Let me clean that and then we will stamp our beavers one more time. Okay. So once again, I'm gonna go in with the um, icing on the cake, Catherine Pooler Mini, and do my beaver in that color. And all it does is just re highlights our image. I'm not going to re stamp the wood. I think the wood looks good. I don't really want it to be any darker. Just want my little beavers to be darker so they pop and stand out and they become the focal image. Okay, that looks pretty good. Clean this up quick. And then once everything's dry, I will go in with a gel pen and I will highlight um, the eyes real quick. And let me show you what this looks like. You just want to give it a moment for the ink to dry. Um, before I spray it with a fixative, you always want to spray it with a fixative. I will, like I said, take a gel pen and do the little nose and the eyes. Let me see. I like the Sakura Black Jelly Roll pen. It's this one here. Glaze. And... This a tiny little dot for his eye. Where's that piece of scratch paper I just had? Here we go. Oh, can you see this guy's eye? Covered it up there, and then a little bit on the nose. There we go. I am sticking with you with our cute little beavers. So again, the stamp set is from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. It is called Building Beavers. You get the stamp and you get the two sentiments. 
And then I brought in the Cloud Stencil and the Pan Pastels, also from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Check them out. I'll link everything down below for you. Make sure you're following Blue Night Rubber Stamps on um, fans of Blue Night Rubber Stamps on Facebook and also their YouTube channel for more tips and tricks from the owner, Lynn herself, and also from the other design team members. If you have any questions, post them down below. I will link all of the links for you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And keep on stamping. Bye-bye.